Hi everybody, this is Jean-Charles Compagnon with the Kiwi Apps. Today I want to show you a few things that you can do to improve your store. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my store. Uh, you can easily access your store by just going to one of your items or clicking on your little icon here. And so this is my store here. Uh, one thing that I want to show you uh, is that you should customize this area here of your store because this is an area that is um, indexed by search engine and that's uh, looked at so you should go into your settings and customize this to have your keywords uh, or keywords that are relevant to your store uh, without just putting them out there. You can make a little nice sentence like we've done here where you kind of like repeat some of the keywords that that you have. And actually I don't do any human hair lace anymore so I'm gonna try to show you how to update that. So I'm gonna go down to the bottom of the page and I'm gonna click on manage my store and let's see if I can remember where to find those options. So I'm gonna go to um, display settings maybe, store design, display settings, here you go, and I'm gonna change here that part of the description and simply remove that and at the same time I'm showing you where this is located in um, in eBay. I use my custom logo uh, I recommend that you do as well and I'm gonna save the settings. There it's saved, let's look at it in my store and it looks great. So you don't want to advertise you know things that you're not doing here and obviously I'm not selling those um, lace wig anymore so I wanted to remove that but I I wanted to show you at the same time that this is um, a part of the the store that is being indexed and looked at for a search engine that you should definitely um, make sure you have some description of your store and possibly some keywords in it to help search engine. Now the second thing that I want to show you is that you have some custom um, boxes that you can use here to write things about yourself. You can use it like I did for the shipping and payment and write something. Now the thing that I want to point out to you is that beside providing information to your buyers here which if we look at uh, at our store zoomed out oops that was zoomed in zoomed out expands the height of your store. So rather than having a simple store that will stop at this at this level here, it will now expand a little bit longer and looks a little bit more professional. But beside that, this is text that will be indexed by search engine as well. So if we go back to the bottom and we click on uh, manage your store again and we wait a little minute because you is kind of slow tonight you can go to those, um, let's see, is it in custom page? It's not in custom pages, it's in promotion boxes. And you can create a new promotion box and you can write, um, you know, just advertise some of your items here or you can provide links to your store or you can just use a completely customize HTML here. And in this box, because it's customized HTML, you can put it on the top left, right here, on the top right, or on the left navigation on the lower part. So I'm not going to create a new one here, but I will go back and show you the one that I had created, that shipping and payment. And I'm going to edit this. It's displayed on all category of my store, so all pages. And here is the um, 
the document of it. So I didn't use any fancy HTML, you know, I just wrote some things here. But you can just write, you know, if you have nothing to write here, try to write something that will repeat maybe your, um, your item specifics or some of the keyword because this will be indexed by search engines as well. And if I go back and cancel, you have a couple of those that you can use. So I've created also a store newsletter custom one that I've added to the bottom left. And you know, you can put it left, right, wherever you want. But those are free fields that are added to your store and that will be indexed by search engines. So there's no reason really not to use them. If you don't want to put your shipping and payment, just put a little blah blah about yourself, but something that will be indexed by um, by the search engine. Now another thing that you can do is store pages. So I have this wig and maintenance care, for example, which is a page that I have made that shows up in my store that has instruction on how to uh, basically take care of, of the wigs. And if I go down and show you how that is created, and wait a little minute because eBay is still slow tonight. There you go. Uh, those are custom pages. So I have this wig and maintenance care. You could um, simply create a new page and I'll let you play with this, but I'm going to edit it just to show you um, that it's pretty much, you know, the layout is just a text selection. I put a title, there's a little uh, wheezy wig, what you see is what you get, interface, but really you can enter your own HTML and create that into another uh, uh, listing. Now one of the great thing about uh, those custom page is that if you, for example, link this page within your item, if a search engine goes to your item, they will then try to crawl this page, which is a really easy way for you to get additional keywords or um, free pages that will be crawled by search engine and that basically helps you in ranking. And if you look at the URL from that other video that I did on natural URL, you'll see that this is a URL without any question mark that search engine love. So, um, you know, if you're selling antique, you might want to do a custom page with just some, even if it's just photos or, you know, something about what you're doing, kind of like the, the review guides, but for your store. And what this will do is that when somebody search Google, for example, for wig maintenance care, they might find my page. When they find my page, they go to my store. When they're in my store, they might buy some of my wigs because I have navigation here. So those are not things that you want to forget uh, to use. And there are a lot of those that you can use with your store, depending on the store level that you have. Uh, I think you can create up to seven or eight with the basic basic store. So really, you know, use those. Just create a page and, you know, even if it's just a page to advertise your own item or just to put keywords, put keywords into it. Search engine are going to crawl it, get to it. And if somebody from Google will click on my wig maintenance and care page, then they get right into my store. So those are the few things uh, that you can easily do to, uh, to improve your store in a quick fashion, in a, in a quick way. So let's recap. Um, customize this header. If, even if you don't have a fully customized store, just customize this because this will be indexed by search engine. And customize or create those with the store page listing and um, create, you know, some of those uh, store newsletters, sign up for the store newsletter. And I hope this helps some of my viewers. Uh, feel free to comment below. Feel free to like and ask us if you have some more questions. Thank you.